the people who won, who had won the USA for the first time in the world. From 10 a.m. on July 27th, 1953, the signing ceremony was held in this, uh, in this place for 50 minutes. In the discussion of the signing ceremony, the American delegation suggested to have a signing ceremony rather pioneer than simply in a small tent. This was their kind of place to cover their uh, to cover their simple look as the in the Korean War. But the Brazilian president Emerson said that uh, the signing ceremony meant the great victory of our people who had won the first time in the who had won the USA for the first time in the world. So uh, he said that the signing ceremony must be uh, significant and grateful. After uh, his instructions, our people and people's army built this uh, building of more than 980 square meters within five days. Uh, at the ceremony, on behalf of the DPF side, uh, General Nami, the, the, General of Chief, uh, the Chief of General Staff, signed the agreement. On behalf of the U.S. side, uh, the Brigadier, uh, Brigadier General William Tourism signed. <laughs> this is a document of the Armistice Agreement. This armistice agreement was signed by the head of the delegations and it was exchanged, then it was finally uh, signed by the screen commander of both sides. On behalf of the DPFA side, uh, the screen commander Conrad Kimmerson uh, signed. At the time, on behalf of the U.S. side, the club, the then commander of the U.N. forces, uh, made final sign. After signing the agreement, Clark said, War without victory, this is the term not found in the history. At the box, we set the, our national flag on the desk, but the U.S. side, uh, uh, Put on the UN flag on their desk. Because uh, they, it was their kind of first uh, to, to cover their shameful look as well as in the world in the name of UN. Uh, that is new one and the old one is in the box. Over 60 years have passed since the Korean War, uh, so the UN flag was colored up. Okay, you can take the pictures and go to another place. 